National Intelligence Service Kenya NIS, Swahili, Huduma Ya Ujasusi Ya Kitefa which was previously known as the National Security Intelligence Service NSIS, is both the national domestic and foreign intelligence agency of Kenya. It had its origins in Special Branch, a department of the National Police that was created in 1952 under the British administration. Among other things it provided intelligence during the Mau Mau uprising. History Nineteenth century Kenyan intelligence The Nandi, on hearing of the British, sought to attack them. On the other hand, the Kamba people responded differently to the British as they had traversed the central and coastal areas as long-distance traders during which they gathered information for their leaders. British colonists recruited mercenaries as porters and guides. First the mercenaries provided information, but later they served as community chiefs, displacing traditional leaders. This meant that most of those who became chiefs were opportunists. Later the government of the Kenya Protectorate began intelligence gathering which is shown in the timeline below. Timeline – Progress The colonial system did not destroy existing networks, but used them to build a new intelligence system. The colonial government initially gathered information from tourists, missionaries and traders, but after 1895 gathered information at the local level through commissioners and retainers, including from African allies and collaborators. From 1906, intelligence reports were submitted to the commissioner of the East Africa Protectorate. The British East African Police was established in 1892, and for 18 years gathered intelligence. During World War I, the focus of intelligence gathering changed from African affairs to information on enemy activities in neighboring countries. African agents were recruited, and tapped telegraphic communications, tracked the enemy, and visited other African workers to gather information. Coastal traders engaged in counter-intelligence. <laughs> Special Branch SB. In 1926 a criminal investigations division was created, staffed by colonists, and involving a special branch responsible for intelligence. In the post-World War II period until 1963, the SB's activities expanded from the collection of intelligence on criminal activities to investigation of citizens agitating for independence and the trade union movement. The SB also expanded to combat the Mau Mau insurgency and was reorganized following intelligence failures. The post-independence government inherited an intelligence mentality that used force to ensure compliance. After 1965, police and intelligence services became politicized and linked to individuals. By 1982, the police force including the SB had become a tool of oppression, systematically abusing the law and disregarding the constitution. In 1998, however, the National Security Intelligence Service was created, and over 170 SB officers were purged from the NSIS. In 1999, the NSIS and the police were separated, arrest authority was removed from the NSIS, and a tribunal was established for complaints against the intelligence service. Kenyan Independence, Directorate of Security Intelligence In 1963 with independence approaching Special Branch was made independent from the police and in 1969 it was given a new charter. It wasn't until 1986 that it was transformed into the Directorate of Security Intelligence National Security Intelligence Service In 1998, a new Act of Parliament in Kenya established the National Security Intelligence Service to replace the former Directorate of Security Intelligence which at the time was still colloquially known as Special Branch. The first Director General of the new service was retired Brigadier Wilson A.C. Boynet who served until 2006, when he was replaced with Major General Michael Gichongi. 
In January 2011 Gichangi was appointed to a second five-year term. However, Gichangi did not complete his term and resigned his position in August 2014 citing personal reasons. His replacement, Major General Philip Kamaru then serving as the head of military intelligence, was appointed in September after vetting by the National Assembly. NSIS's intelligence gathering work includes, internal, external and strategic intelligence. The NSIS is charged with identifying conditions that threaten Kenya's political, economic and social stability. It develops techniques and strategies to neutralize such threats. The NSIS director is the national security advisor to the President of Kenya. The NSIS was relocated from the notorious offices of Special Branch at Niati House to new headquarters on the outskirts of the city, near the Windsor Golf and Country Hotel. In April 1999, the MWA government appointed Mrs. Pamela M. Boya, the former permanent representative to the Habitat, to head a committee that was charged with formulating a scheme of service for NSIS officers. Security of tenure given the Director General of NSIS is designed to protect him from such abuse by members of the governing elite. He has the opportunity to say no to any unlawful or sectarian instructions from his bosses without fear of losing his job. National Intelligence Service The NSIS was briefly renamed National Security Intelligence Service NSIS and then to National Intelligence Service NIS its current name. Mission Detecting and identifying any potential threat to Kenya Advising the President and GOVT of any security threat to Kenya Taking steps to protect the security interests of Kenya whether political, military or economic Vetting people that may hold positions that require security clearance Topic Divisions NIS is divided into seven sections, 1. Administration under the Director of Administration, 2. Information Technology under the Director of Information Technology, 3. Internal Intelligence under the Director of Internal Intelligence 4. External Intelligence under the Director of External Intelligence 5. Analysis and Production under the Director of Economic Affairs 6. Operations under the Director of Operations 7. National Intelligence Academy under its own Director 8. Digital Intercept Technology Unit under its own Director Inspector Kime and Sergeant Jamal Agent Sparrow, best known for his cracking information technology skills that led to the killing of the attackers and rescue of the victims in the Garissa massacre. See also Criminal Investigation Department